morning dear students how are you all hope all of you are fine please do take care of yourself so let's begin our today's class in the first chapter uh, my body we have learned about different parts of our body external parts of our body and in our previous class we have started to learn our sense organs and we have already finished two organs about eyes and ears so today we'll start with nose our nose helps us to breathe air in and out we can smell the fragrance of a flower the smell of our favorite dish being cooked in the kitchen the strong smell of fish in the fish market or even of burnt food however we cannot smell when we have a cold and our nose gets blocked our sense of smell does not work when we suffer from the cold so our nose is one of the sense organs and nose help us to breathe in breathe air in and out and we used to smell the fragrance of flowers and even if your mother is cooking something very dish, delicious food in the kitchen so we can smell also at the same time we can smell uh, a strong smell like uh, if you go to the fish market okay even you can smell the burnt food also so however if you have if you are suf uh, suppose you are suffering from cold and our if you and your nose get blocked at that time our sense of smell doesn't work when we suffer from cold okay next we'll come to the tongue our tongue helps us to taste the food we eat it has millions of tiny structures called taste bud which tells us if the food is salty sweet sour or bitter our tongue also helps us to swallow food and to talk so tongue gives us to taste and tongue tongue has many taste buds also so it gives us salty uh, taste like salty uh, sweet sour and bitter and our tongue helps us to swallow our food and also helps us to talk you know try saying this tongue twister just for fun she sells seashells on the store so just this is a tongue twister so just try it to say quickly at least five times and if you hold your tongue just hold your tongue and try to talk you cannot speak or you cannot talk so tongue is also a very important part of our sense organs it helps us to taste different things okay so next we'll come to skin our whole body is covered with skin which helps us to feel skin helps us to feel when we touch hot food or uh, ice cold water our skin helps us to feel the hot heat and cold so skin helps us to uh, fit uh, feel which one is hot and which one is cold when we prick uh, our hand with a needle or a fall down and hurt ourselves our skin uh, makes us feel the pain skin is the largest part organ of our body so if you fall down you got hurt and your skin helps you to feel the pain okay and skin is the largest organ of our body people who are not able to use one or more of their sense organs or the part of their body fully are called people with disabilities so people suppose some people cannot walk some people uh, cannot write or some other problem some people cannot hear some people cannot see so these people are called people with disabilities okay they need a lot of care and attention and these types of people they need lots of attention so dear children always remember that the skin helps us to feel the pain hot and cold and mm, skin is the largest organ of our body okay and the people who have some difficulties in their body parts or uh, in their in their senses also so these are uh, they are also called the people of 
disabilities. Okay. Now we'll come to page number 13. Exercise. First one is fill in the blanks. Then second one is choose the correct answer. So fill in the blanks. Uh, all the answers. I have given all the answers on the campus here. And choose the correct answer also. First of all, dear children, try to do these things. Please fill in the blanks and choose the correct answer by yourself. Okay. So you just do it in your book. And afterwards, you will write down in your copy. Okay. So that's all for today. Stay home, stay safe. And have a nice day.